Was Louie crying at Top Gun? <laughs> <laughs> I cried at Top Gun Maverick. I did. I, I, I knew it. I knew it. I can't believe how they preserved this fucking character and how Tom did. Mm. Yeah. And brought him to. I mean, when as soon as it opens with the shots of the aircraft carrier and that and that yeah. and the guys pointing and all that. You're like, I can't believe they did this. I can't believe they did this. Did they really do it? And then you see Maverick with his older but still cool arms as he's, you know, <laughs> doing this on the thing. And you're like, go, man, go. This is so fucking good. And then you meet the other characters and you're like, all right, let's get through this. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm the tough girl. I'm the guy that doesn't ever give it up. I'm the guy that's kind of, I don't know what anybody's doing. <laughs> you got to watch that for a while. And they keep cutting to Maverick, yeah. which means nothing. But in that first scene in the bar, because they're like, it's okay, he's here. It's okay, he's here. Oh. Maverick is here. He's here. He's It's for me. So the young people are meeting these characters that I hate, but they're going, Maverick's here. It's okay. And Jennifer Connelly's over here. She's over here. They cut to the two of them constantly. They, they're. It's not important that they're listening to these kids. It's important that you as a viewer see them. Mm. When you're so watching, you keep, yeah, sorry, go, interested. go. That's all I'm done. When you're watching, or you know when we're watching stand-up, you're like seeing if you could see where this joke is going, mm. et cetera. It, and when you're watching film, is it like that? All the time. I stop and go back all the time and see how, why the cuts were, what they were, and yeah. And this is always? Always. And you can see why they did stuff. They fixed so You can tell they fixed something. You can tell they cut something here. You can tell they cut something out. It's an awkward transition. And, you know, yeah. I study movies all the time that way. Okay. You're studying movies. Obviously, stand-up is exploding. I'm talking about earlier in your career, right? Yeah. You, did you notice that there were, like, certain stories that just exploded? And what it was about, like, story that we're so drawn to? Like, why is it, like... I don't know. There's something just about human beings. Why are we so engaged by the story? I can give somebody a hot take or a hot premise or whatever, mm -hmm. but the story is the impactful thing. The story is when everybody's sitting around in a group and you're telling a thing that happened, everybody shuts down. That's right. Why? In movies, stories is big. It drives, it grabs your interest and, it dri and then you relate to it and you, and you want to see what happens. And it's suspenseful. When a movie is about something, like an issue, it lays there. Because you feel the way you feel about a movie and about a, an issue... And maybe they maybe they're on your side, maybe they're not. Oh, but you're like, shit. I get it. it's it's just laying there. So these political movies, a, they don't they don't grab an, a viewer. But if you're watching a story, by the way, you can get to a, an issue by driving through the story. And do you think do you think Hollywood has an inflated sense of self, or do you think it is uh, because of how impactful certain movies and stories are? Mm -hmm. Do you think there are certain people in Hollywood that are going, listen, we're going to change the course of American history with it's this not, movie. It's not that it's, it's not that uh, uh, high pollutant. It's cynical. They a story works, so they go, let's do that. Let's do that story. They just keep doing. Every story has a, a reverberating effect on a bunch of movies. So a, somebody comes up with a story nobody's quite told before, and then it gets done again and again and again. Everybody's just chasing. Yeah, they're just yeah. chasing other people's stories around. Okay, and some people are actually good at some of those are okay. You know, some B movies are actually you know good on that level. It's a rehash of some other thing and they put a prettier face on it and you know, you get, and then yeah, it's style, you have a style of filmmaking and then yeah. you get that. There's a, are you a fan of the Nolans at all? I know this is like mainstream. Christopher Nolan? Yeah. Not, and, and not them. I mean, I, I don't get grabbed by those sort really? of like, this is time is twisting That was backwards. very, really weird, but I almost feel like, and maybe this is because I'm a fan of, of their work. I almost feel like or that's- says they? Well, Christopher and Jonathan, his brother Jonathan writes it with him. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, but um, I, I just, I wonder if that's them like trying to flex their storytelling ability. I do think that those movies are sincerely interested in what they're doing. I don't think they're like but trying it doesn't to show gravitate off to you. or that's, yeah, it's not my thing, but they're good. They're great movies. And some people absolutely, if anybody loves a movie, it's a great movie. What is the best movie you've ever seen? It's impossible to say that. I don't really know. Um, it's so many that I, there's a movie, uh, there's ones that just pop in my head, like Hard Times is a movie everybody should see. It's Charles, it's Bronson? Charles Bronson and James Coburn. And it's just about a guy who's a bare knuckle, you know, uh, brawler where they go to like a factory and they get two guys and they just, and guys throw money. It's like a cockfight with men. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's during the depression and it's set in New Orleans. And somehow they made New Orleans, they shot it in the sixties, look like New Orleans during the depression. And it's funny as fuck and it's strange and it's beautiful. And there's fist, just Charles Bronson just fist fighting with dudes. Long fist fight <laughs> scenes with blood everywhere. 
and they're it's super fun great movie